Okay, this quadratic e equation is really fun to solve. What you need to do is, since this term is relatively simple, what we want to do is get the quadratic out of the equation. Okay, and the way we do it, we're going to square this term. Okay, so what I did is I moved this one over by adding radical x on both sides. Square in this one, it's we got rid of the radical. Now here, you got to be paying attention. Okay, a lot of students think this one is usually equal to 1 plus x. No, okay, it's very important that you don't do this on the test. The reason is 1 plus radical x times 1 plus radical x, there's going to be a cross term. Okay, so what actually comes out is 1 plus twice of uh, 1 plus twice of this one times this one plus the squared. Okay, so if you do the FOIL method here, you'll see it's going to work out. It's actually four terms when you combine, you end up with this. All right, the next thing we're going to do is going to uh, minus everything onto this side. The reason is I want to clean this one up so I can square uh, both sides again. This one I have a uh, uh, 2x. Okay, minus 4 equal to 2 radical x. I'm even going to divide a 2 before I square, because now if I square without dividing 2, I'm going to end up with 4 here. So the I, the simpler you can get before you're doing the squaring term, the better off you're going to be. Okay, so from here, I'm going to square it. It's pretty simple. x squared, remember again, it's x minus 4x plus 4. Okay, this is important. And once again, x minus 2 squared does not equal to x squared minus 4. Okay, no, do not do this on the test. This one is equal to x. I'm going to move it over. x squared minus 5x plus 4 equal to 0. Okay, so from there it's pretty easy. I'm just going to factor it. Minus 4 minus 1. So x equal to 4 or x equal to 1. Okay. Checking back over there, you want to make sure I have a radical 3x minus 3, both checks. There's no negative numbers. Okay, And also radical x and both checks. So let's actually do one more step checking on it. So I have a radical 3x minus 3, that's a 0, minus radical, that's, that's if x equal to 1. So I have 0 minus 1 is equal to 1. So I actually have minus 1 equal to 1. So there's a one solution that actually doesn't fit. So no, x is not equal to 1. The reason that we have two solutions and one of them doesn't work is when we square it, we sometimes create a shadow uh, solution. Let's check if x equal to 4, then I have a radical of uh, 3 of 3 times 4 minus 3. Okay, so it's 12 minus, that's 9, so this becomes 3. Minus radical 4, which is minus 2, equal to 1, equal to 1. Yes. So for this particular problem, x is equal to 4. That's the only answer. Okay? Hope this helps. Have a confident day.